So and, uh, what's what's going on with all that banking stuff? You know, did we uh, did we avoid a crisis or what? Is it still going to collapse? No, it's not going to collapse. The Fed won't let that happen. They're not going to let it happen. They already said they're not going to let it happen. So what they're doing is right. So the bonds they lost oh, like seventy percent of their value or something like a crazy amount. But uh, that's the the value at maturity. It's known as the face value because yeah. uh, that's what it's redeemable at for. I think the Fed's letting them borrow against that value. <laughs> so they're just giving them free money. So I think, uh, I think, yeah, I think it's not going to happen. And I think, uh, I think, I think also these uh, prolonged rate hikes are not sustainable. You already see what it's doing. So I think, if you're if you bought crypto over the past couple of months, you're you should be very happy. You know, when I was poor, I'm still poor, but <laughs> when I was like really poor, I always wanted to watch the system collapse. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh great, maybe I'll like be able to buy a house finally. You know, maybe the houses will come back down to like 30 grand each like, like you know like a reasonable price um but now that i actually have like a little bit of savings and 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 you know all my savings is in like usdc i don't want to watch i don't want the system to collapse anymore i'm like i'm watching the usdc depeg oh man that he didn't me. like it <laughs> no way that freaked me out i, I watched my all my cash position dropped 13 percent at one point welcome to the one percent baby let's go <laughs> oh no more collapse no the, the system collapse <laughs> no for real for real there are a lot of people that are predicting a system collapse and um the in, the influencers that do that do it because they're pretty much feeding off it's like fear porn resentment of of the system and like Often, often the the hatred for for the current you know paradigm is justified, but this idea that anyone would be better off if there was a mass bank failure is yeah. complete delusion. It's ridiculous. It would, it, it would hurt the poor people the most because yeah. they won't have any money. They'll starve. Like yeah, is, there'd be yeah, there'd probably be mass starvation mass if the starvation. financial system collapsed. And people think like, oh, but it's good for Bitcoin. It's like, no, it's not. And how would they buy Bitcoin? Like if there's, and then they'd say, oh, they'd only transact in Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin will be the currency. It's like, it's not ready for prime time, dude. No. Like no, your grandma is going to use not. Bitcoin. She's going to walk around with her ledger. She's going to walk around <laughs> with, and then like put it to her laptop when she needs to buy the groceries, like scan it. It's like not happening. Just teach grandma to have like, you know, two or 300 bucks on a hot yeah. wallet. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and oh, okay. They'll just use their phone. It's like, yeah, if, the dollar collapses and the banks collapse. There's no Coinbase anymore. There's there's yeah, no, no more Coinbase. centralized exchange. <laughs> yeah, How's it going to operate? Your, they need can't to use your your Coinbase debit card on the Visa system anymore. Exactly. It's like so, it's so funny how people just don't think things through. <laughs> and I, I've been there. I'm not saying I'm above it, but like if anyone just takes a little bit of time to think how the world works, like a massive collapse will benefit nobody. Like no one but it would hurt the people at, at the at the bottom like the the lower income and middle class people would hurt them the most that's what people have to understand um and that doesn't mean there can't be changes there could be changes to the system like responsible changes that make it better for everyone but this idea that a massive collapse will benefit the people at the bottom or in the middle it's it's it's, it's not true yeah the only the only possibility uh, that I see that could ever potentially like really happen. That's just like the best thing ever would be like, if all the banks were like going under and they just, um, if they just uh, relieved all the debt to the, uh, to all the people that owned houses, you know what I mean? <laughs> like like oh, oh you owe three hundred thousand on your house, that that is wiped out. And now you own your house, and uh, we go from there. That's like you know 
the, that's like the the best case scenario that I could ever see <laughs> happening in like a financial collapse is that they just you know debt relief your house. Yeah. Well, maybe even better would be financial collapse and everyone in hex becomes the world reserve currency. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> and everyone's already acclimated to crypto. So nobody starves. You know, everyone already has enough hex that uh, they can buy their groceries and they can stake and they could uh, pay for their needs and everything. And and then the origin address becomes the Federal Reserve. Not federal, not a reserve. Can <laughs> <Did> you imagine? <laughs> and we all live happily ever after, okay? You know, I, I said it like once before. I thought it would be kind of cool if Richard uh, privatized, you know, a private version of Hex and then sold that to like governments so they could use uh, for themselves. Like they have their own private version of hex for their country private test net yeah <laughs> but public <laughs> you know that that would be interesting and maybe they'd have to buy they'd have to buy the private system with uh through hex through through our hex so they'd have to pump our bags if they want to get up they'd have to sacrifice <laughs> they'd have to sacrifice but only hex if they want to if they want to use the uh their own version <laughs> Oh man. Do you have any questions about how to approach the pulse chain launch? Or do you have any questions about crypto security? Anything like that? Go book a free one-on-one. -on -one. Links in the description with me. Schedule it on your own time. You could schedule it on your own time, you know, at a time that's most convenient for you. And it'll be fun. And also consider becoming a Patreon, get access to my trades, my Discord group meetings every sunday 12 p.m eastern time with the community um and discounts and many other great benefits exclusive content my trades my portfolio how i'm navigating the markets links in the description get in the patreon go support my work if you can or even if you cannot and also follow me on instagram at food.finance <laughs>